Swimmers at Parley Beach say this is a bad year for jellyfish. The shores are littered with them. And now it's true this is jellyfish season, but some locals say the numbers seem exceptionally high this summer. For more on the life cycle of the jellyfish and what might be going on here, we've reached Gerhard Pohle at the Huntsman Marine Science Center in St. Andrews, and we've reached him by Skype. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. What kind of species are these jellyfish? Well, I haven't been at the beach myself, but from past history, uh, I understand that there are um, one or two species that commonly occur in the area, and it's not just on Parley Beach, but in the Gulf itself, and that is the, the moon jelly, which is uh, the one that most people recognize because it's got these horseshoe-shaped um, gonads, and it's fairly flat and doesn't have very long tentacles. And then uh, one that often gets referred to as the red jellyfish, uh, which is a larger jellyfish that has longer tentacles, which I believe is the lion's mane, and this is the one that has the ability to sting people. Oh. So those are the two oh. that I'm aware of. Okay. So does this, I mean, should swimmers be trying to stay away from these jellyfish, I assume? Um, yes, that is probably true. The, um, the moon jelly is, is basically harmless, mm -hmm. um, more or less. The... The other one, however, uh, has tentacles that can sting, and uh, as such, these are, of course, uh, for example, if it washes up on shore, and it is actually okay to touch the top part of the animal, the disc, but not the tentacles. The problem is that often these tentacles uh, get um, separated from the animal itself, and they can float in the water, and you might not see them. And this happens during weather events such as storms. Um, so you might not necessarily see a jellyfish when you get stung. Okay. And what explains why they're showing up in such high numbers at this time? Well, there, there isn't really a straightforward answer to this in the sense of saying, you know, why is this in particular a bad occasion? Uh, as you had mentioned in your introduction, this is the time of year where we do get... Um, blooms of jellyfish. Uh, this is the warmest time of year. This is basically when they have done their reproductive bit and they are growing fast because of the increases in temperature. Um, but usually jellyfish stay offshore. They, they are part of the plankton. That's all these organisms that basically float for wherever the current carries them. Um, so if the uh, current conditions or the weather conditions, however, are such that they do get pushed on shore, this is the time when we do notice them. So th they are always around, they are out there, in particular in the summertime, but given the right weather conditions, they do get closer to shore, and when that happens, um, the, the additional effect might be that as, as you get into shallower water, then the temperature, of course, increases which might put these jellyfish under increasing stress so that they are less able even to do whatever maneuvering they can do, and then they really get washed on shore, and then that's when we have the problems that we see on the beaches. Okay, and my last question to you, do we see any changes that you are aware of in these particular populations recently? Is, is there anything happening with these species right now? That's unusual. Mm -hmm. Um, th that's a very good question, simply because we are not doing the type of work that would answer this question for this population in the Gulf. Worldwide, however, uh, the public is probably quite aware of the fact that uh, jellyfish blooms do occur with what is perceived to be uh, either a greater frequency or just more of these animals than uh, has been known in recent history. So these, there are certain areas in the world, uh, such as the Adriatic Sea, uh, the Bering Sea, uh, where uh, there have been increases observed. But again, these might be part of a larger cycle that we are not aware of. So for example, in the Bering Sea, there was a huge increase, a 40-fold increase in jellyfish in the 1990s to 2000. But that has since gone back to normal levels. So unfortunately, there are a whole slew of factors that might affect this. Uh, population boom and frequency that we presently don't really understand well enough to, to answer such a question. That said, there are of course changes occurring in the sea that we are all aware of, whether it's uh, climate change, uh, overfishing that might take away the, um, the competitors of the jellyfish, so the jellyfish 
can um, uh, occur in greater numbers, or it might be nutrients uh, that might increase these populations. All of these are probably some type of influence to changes that we have observed. However, we can't really say with certainty that this is what's occurring here at this point in time. Well, I do appreciate your time today. Thank you very much. You're welcome.